equity is not an advantage. It is a human right and there is no advantage when a student is starting from behind. So when we look at a mainstream, traditional, neuronormative classroom setting, it is built on a foundation of neuronormativity. There is a, an assumption that the students that will show up and participate in the curriculum and the curriculum delivery and sit in those classrooms will be neurotypical. That's how society works. And that doesn't mean that it's right or it's okay. It's just how it is. We live in a world where everyone is expected to behave as though they are neurotypical. We take children, we put them through an assessment and diagnosis process. We check off the criteria and we say, yes, they're autistic. Yes, they're demand avoidant. Yes, they're ADHD. And then we send them off to school and pretend that never happened. We do that in the way that school systems often expect our neurodivergent children to learn in the same ways. So it's important to know that when we are building an IEP, an independent or individual education plan, the goals are never, they should never be formulated around having the student become normalised. The goals are not to take this neurodivergent individual and have them learning, behaving, living as a typical person. That's not what our education plans are about. It's about looking at the students' learning pathways, their needs and appropriate accommodations, and figuring out how they can access the same education in a different way. That's what equity is. Equity is taking individuals and allowing them access to the same outcomes but the delivery is different or the way to get there the pathways are different now when you're autistic adhd pda demand avoidant there's no advantage and a lot of adults believe and i've faced this at university myself as a student when asking for accommodations i've often been told more than once that I can't receive materials to prepare to get my head around information uh, because that's me having an advantage. There's no advantage when your cognitive processing needs additional time. There's no advantage when your cognitive processing works completely differently, when you have sensory overwhelm and when you have an ADHD profile as well. There's no advantage there. So where typical students may be starting here, we're down here. So there's no advantage. So getting appropriate accommodations and accessibility sometimes might give us this as a starting point. More often than not, it actually doesn't. So this is what equity is about. It's not the same as equality. It's not everybody getting the same thing the whole entire journey. It's everyone meeting those outcomes in ways that work for them. And it's a human right 